Hi guys, the Migaku team and I hope you had a Merry Christmas and are having a happy holidays. And of course, we hope you're having a happy New Year's Day as well. And here's to hoping that 2021 ends up a much better year than 2020 was. Today we're coming to you with a few New Year's Day releases which will hopefully get 2021 started on the right foot. First is Migaku MPV, which allows you to use the Migaku Dictionary add-on and the Immerse with Migaku browser extension with video and subtitle files of any format. And to instantly make Anki flashcards with audio and a screenshot for those files. Second, we're happy to also be releasing the Migaku Flexible Grading add-on, which alongside the Migaku Vacation add-on, which we released publicly just last week, gets us one step closer to making Anki a more streamlined and effective study aid. Lastly, we have a special surprise that will hopefully help you to build the excitement for all the exciting things that we have coming from Migaku in 2021. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end of this video if you would like to see what that surprise is. Anyways, enough talk. Let's jump in and have a chat with Ben, the creator of Migaku MPV. Hey guys, I'm here with Ben. He's a member of the Migaku Collaborator community and he's the developer of Migaku MPV. Hi guys, I'm happy to be working with the Migaku team and developing Migaku MPV. I saw that a lot of people were hoping for support for more video formats with the Immerse with Migaku browser extension. And I decided it would be really cool to develop a Migaku plugin for MPV that works with any video format. I hope it's useful to you guys and I'm excited to continue working with Migaku into the future. Thanks so much for your hard work, Ben. You did a really awesome job in this project. Let's go ahead and show the people what Migaku MPV can do. Migaku MPV allows you to play video files of any format, including MKV, which is a very popular video format found with many downloaded video files. You can simply drag and drop video or subtitle files onto MPV player to play them. MPV player will also automatically load subtitle files with similar names to your video files with MPV's fuzzy matching functionality, which makes loading multiple subtitles really simple. Once you've loaded your video and subtitle files into MPV player, then it's time to start using Migaku MPV. Simply press the B key to open Chrome to Migaku MPV's subtitle browser page. Here you can click the Anki button next to any subtitle line to make an Anki card for it. You can also select multiple subtitle lines and add them to a single Anki card. Another awesome feature of Migaku MPV solves a pretty big problem that a lot of people find when playing local video files. And that's that the subtitle timings of their subtitles often don't match the video file that they're viewing. Well, with Migaku MPV, this is no longer a problem. You can simply press Shift B to display a list of automatic retiming options. Then you can select to retime your subtitle file according to the video's audio track, which will very accurately retime your subtitle track in just a few seconds. <laughs> Then you're good to go and ready to immerse in your favorite content. No need to manually retime subtitles. Now let's take a look at Migaku Flexible Grading, which is a handy little add-on that should help you further streamline your Anki study routine. Migaku Flexible Grading has two main features. The first is that it allows you to grade cards from their front side. This was actually always a wishlist feature that I had for years. Because I'm the type of learner who believes that when you really know the content of a flashcard, that you will know that you know it and actually pretty rarely need to see its reverse side. Now, I know not everyone agrees with this perspective, but if you have a similar mindset about this, then I'm sure you will appreciate how much more quickly you will be able to finish your reviews by 
simply answering your well understood card without taking the time to flip them to the reverse sides. The next main feature is the ability to simplify Anki's four button grading system down to a two button pass and fail system by enabling pass fail mode. There are various benefits associated with this, one being that having to decide between various options can actually make your Anki study less efficient because of the longer answering times and make yourself more tired by always having to consider how well you know something rather than if you simply know it or not. Another being that most Anki users don't understand what Anki's hard and easy buttons actually do and that using the fail button can penalize you and greatly add to your review count or that using the easy button can artificially inflate your card scheduling intervals and that for the vast majority of us far and away the best option is to simply use Anki's good and fail buttons, which equates to the Migaku Flexible Gradings Pass and Fail buttons. You can find out more about why this is on the Migaku website just as soon as it's published. But for now, just know that we at Migaku recommend that you simplify your study routine by using Migaku Flexible Gradings Pass Fail feature. Okay guys, so if you want to get access to Migaku MPV, you can find the links to it in the description below. Migaku MPV works in conjunction with Migaku Dictionary Plus and the Immerse with Migaku browser extension, which are two of Migaku's beta software projects that can be found at our $5 beta tester tier on Patreon. There are also various other beta software projects that are also available at that tier, including the conjugation support for various languages for the Migaku Dictionary add-on and the full featured Migaku German and Migaku French add-ons, which allow you to play audio for any word when hovering it, show you a word's dictionary base form, which allows you to more easily decipher conjugations, and add gender coloring to words, which makes memorizing their correct gender considerably easier. Migaku Flexible Grading has also just been released at the beta tester tier alongside this video as well. But our plan with Migaku Flexible Grading is to greatly expedite its beta testing period and have it ready for public release within just a few weeks. So by the time you're watching this video, it may have already been publicly released release so check the links in the description below. But if you're interested in gaining early access to any of those beta software projects then please consider supporting Migaku on Patreon. And now lastly our big surprise for the Migaku community to kick off 2021. we're happy to announce the release of the Migaku website's countdown timer. Yannick, Julius, and I are hard at work creating something that we feel is ultimately going to be really special. And we would love to have you guys share in our excitement. So if you're excited for what's in store for us in the Migaku community in 2021, then please check the countdown timers link in the description below to find out when we will be releasing the Migaku website. As always, thank you so much to all of our patrons. Your support means the world to us. It really does. And for everyone else, if you're interested in a chance to win free special VIP access to the official Migaku Discord community and our beta software releases, then subscribe to the channel and leave a like and comment on this video. If you want to raise your chances of winning, share this video on Twitter with the hashtag Migaku and join the Immerse with Migaku Reddit community in the description below. At the end of every month, we choose 15 people to get a free behind the scenes look at the community we're building. And that number increases every time a Patreon milestone is reached. Thanks so much for watching the video this Far, we really hope it adds value to you on what will hopefully be the great rebound year of 2021 that we're all hoping for. All the best. See ya.